Dave Suzuki of Vada Remains, and you are listening to What's Metal? Hammer down the goddamn fucking nails. So what, what, when the interview will be on air, uh, the new album will probably uh, be out. Okay. So, um, yeah, so I, I haven't listened to it so far. So, okay, that's of course, <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Okay, so th there won't be any um, like in-depth questions on, on the new album, but probably you can tell us um, a little bit uh, on on what it is all about and what we can expect. Okay. Um, well, as you know, uh, the style of Auto Remains, we have long ass songs, but you know they're they're very uh, intricate and it's like a tapestry of all styles of of metal and music entwined, you know, and, you know, it's just, it's sort of like a part two to Dechristianized. Um, but, you know, we, we again, went off to uh, different tangents that we haven't tried before. Um, you know, it's just uh, it's a very proud album. So when, when people know Dechristianize, they would be very comfortable with the new album as well, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, along the same lines. It's, um, you know, there's, there's blasting, there's uh, slow, you know, quote-unquote, like old school, uh, old school riffs, and, you know, there's little bits and pieces of, like, I don't know, there's people who described it as, like, classical pieces, and there's a lot of solos and harmonies, and, and just total blasphemous, uh, blasphemous lyrics, and... You know, it's the whole package again that uh, we try to portray with the music. So I don't think they'll listen to it and think it's totally not us. You know, it's our style. Um, it's you know, I hope they'll they'll hear that. You know, when they listen to the new album. So when I mean, you and uh, Tony basically are the core of the band. So um, how do you know how how a song will sound in the end? when it's just, like, basically composed between the two of you? Um, basically, Tony, he writes the core of the music. So all the, the rhythms and all the, the music, and, you know, he has drum beats in his head also, and, and then I collaborate with the drum beats, and somehow we, we get these songs uh, together, you know, and it isn't until... All the songs are complete uh, that we're happy with is when I go in and, and layer all the, the harmonies and solos, which Tony basically gives me free reign over over that. So I just basically listen to the, the riffs and, and kind of feel out uh, what I hear. Um, like some harmonies I can go behind Tony's riffs um, it's been you know we've been doing this since 96 when I joined the band and um, it's just a really it's a good it's a good method for us you know that we both have our parts into the songs and it just it comes out that way yeah. I don't know how but it just it does so, so you mentioned uh, a few minutes ago that, um, like, of, of course, uh, the new album as well contains a lot of, like, blasphemous messages. Uh, do you think that's an essential part of death metal? And what, what would you think defines death metal? What are the attributes defining death metal? Um, fuck. Uh, I mean, death metal is is really, you know, an outlet of uh, for anger. And... Um, and like hatred for for uh just ignorance you know you know some might talk about gore and and splatter some might talk about the political um but they're all just just you know they're just voicing an opinion sort of like a like a punk way but you know just musically it's just ferocious you know it, it might i mean some people might not hear that unless they read the lyrics um i mean as far as my lyrics go they're 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 not satanic you know they're more anti-religious and what i see in the world that that 
what religion uh, does uh, to this world, as you can see, you know, this this whole thing with Iraq, uh, the war, you know, not to be political, but, you know, it's just, it's a cause of, of just showing the truth, uh, that what's going on in the world, you know, but in a vicious manner yeah. and pretty much straightforward as, as the way we see it, you know. So you would say lyrics are serious, kind of, but uh, you, you shouldn't take them too literally or... Yeah, I mean, there's like satanic ads that just worship Satan and, and that and this, but, you know, if that's what they believe, you know, you know, so be it. But, um, you know, it's, it's, there's a bit of truth in, in my lyrics and, you know, what I see. So it's, you know, I, 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 I stand behind my lyrics and what I, what I write about. You know, it's if it offends people, that's that's fine. But that's that's the whole point: is to make people start thinking.